Dealing with wild animals can be tricky. Duh, that's why they're called wild. For example, mountain lions usually attack from behind, so never turn your back on them or run away. Instead, try to appear fierce, stand tall, maintain eye contact, and open your coat to look bigger. If necessary, throw items and speak firmly at them. If the mountain lion still attacks you, don't freeze, fight back. Try to hit its nose, mouth, or eyes, and it will most likely leave you alone. Generations of animals are gradually getting smaller right in front of our eyes, and we don't even notice it. Canadian lynxes, polar bears, and even some birds are shrinking in size, and it's predicted that it's going to go on for at least another decade. Global warming is to blame for this because smaller bodies cool down way faster. As strange as it may sound, literally, the first thing you notice when watching a tennis match is the athletes grunting. Well, it's not meant to be a concert for your ears. Those sounds actually improve their chances of winning. Most tennis players hit the ball while exhaling and grunting to strengthen the shot's power. Besides, grunting prevents their opponent from hearing the moment the ball impacts the racket making it harder for them to understand and react to the power and spin the hit puts on the ball. Whether you're living a healthy lifestyle or not, you've probably heard that you should walk 10,000 steps a day. In fact, it's not that true. This number is the result of a successful marketing campaign. A Japanese pedometer was called Manpokei, which literally means 10,000 steps meter. It spread all over the world and eventually became the daily step target for everyone. You may have noticed that children behave angelically with other people while going absolutely feral around their mom. As the primary caregivers, moms are blessed with all the charming displays of whining, shrieking, attempted slapping, refusing of food, and cataclysmic tantrums over virtually nothing. And no, you're not imagining things. But it's not a failure on their mom's part. It's a compliment, because the kids feel safe around her. Before leaving home, you might think it's a good idea to go to the bathroom, even though you might not really need to. It's fine if you're going out for a long time where restrooms may be in short supply. It also makes sense before going on long runs. However, if you do it every time, you'll start feeling the urge to pee more often, even when you don't have to just like Pavlov's dogs in the bell. And if you want to add that Pavlovian flavor, just ring a bell before you pee too. While it may seem like a million dollar idea to drown yourself in your sorrows in sweets, chocolates, and cakes during your period, strict doctors will serve you a large order of no right in your face and declare sugar enemy number one during those hard times. Yes, it may even make your cramps worse because sugar causes inflammation. Also, you may experience the trifecta of increased bloating, abdominal pain, and gas attacks, all thanks to the sugar monster. When I think of ancient Rome, I imagine amazing gladiator fights and big feasts. What I don't want to imagine is women applying creams and perfumes made from gladiator sweat. But I have, and now you will too from now on. The sweat and dirt of those strong guys were high-demand products back then. Rich women were ready to pay top dollar, well, top denarius reus to be historically accurate, for bottles of treasure drippings swabbed from the bodies of famous gladiators. We all keep family photos around the house, but the bedroom is a big no-no, according to feng shui. This is because seeing your family late at night can charge up your anxiety and unwanted stress. Perhaps it's about your responsibilities to them or maybe you're worried about something they're going through. Photos of deceased family members can also stir up sad memories and negative emotions. To put it more clearly, the bedroom should be a fortress of peace dedicated to you and your partner only. The best thing you can do to boost your sleep is to go to bed at the same time every day. Not only will it make it easier to fall asleep, but it'll also make you smarter and happier. On the other hand, not getting enough sleep on weekdays and sleeping extra on the weekends leads to diabetes, obesity, and poor cardiovascular health. Wow, that's a bummer. 
If you want to unleash your inner chef, do it wisely and learn some cooking secrets from the pros first. Salt doesn't only belong in savory stuff. Add it to batches of cookies or any other sweet dish you want to brighten up, and voila, you just made it gourmet. Doggies can't speak. That is true. But they do have a special accessory which helps them translate their feelings. It's their paw. Check it out. If everything is fine and your pup puts it on you, it means, I rubbed you, my human. <laughs> Thanks, Scooby. Who let him in here? If you're sad, they'll give you their helping paw saying that everything is going to be okay. If they raise it too often, they mean, Ribby rum a wrenching. I wish so. Will somebody get him a Scooby snack? And you better get up, because playing with your floofster can keep you both from the clutches of depression. See? So it's a win-win. Back in the Victorian era, ladies couldn't just flirt with any guy they liked. At least not directly. So they had to be creative and subtle about it, and would use their fans to make a pass. A closed fan indicated, I want to speak to you. An open one meant, wait for me. When it came to correspondence, they used stamps instead of fans, but it was the placement of the stamp that conveyed the meaning. To ask if a receiver loved them, the stamp was put on the envelope's right corner. An upside-down stamp meant, I don't want to hear back from you. If you have wax stains on your clothes, your carpet, or any fabric, no worries. You can literally iron them out. Place the stained spot between two towels and press it with a warm iron. The wax will stick to the towels, and there you go. You can now remove it, no problem. In Japan, whoever jumps into an elevator first becomes its captain. Captain Elevator! Sounds like the worst superhero ever. The duties include operating the control panel, holding the doors open, and pressing all other buttons for the members of the trip. If you don't feel like you can handle this level of responsibility, let someone else get on first, take the stairs, or simply don't visit Japan. Go to Apple's website right now and take a look around. Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> no, we're not plugging Apple. But do you notice any mysteries there? Those of you gifted with sharp eyes might have noticed all devices show the same time, 9.41 a.m. Weird coincidence or a conspiracy? Place your bets. Well, neither of those answers is correct. But there's always a reason for everything at Apple. The story goes that 9.41 a.m. was the time at which Steve Jobs revealed the very first iPhone in 2007. OMG, it's hair, hair everywhere. And your shaving cream just buttered out. Don't panic. Peanut butter might save the day in your legs. Well, and other body parts, too. It's a great alternative to shaving cream because of its oils. It won't turn your skin into a dry, parched desert, but actually makes it smooth and soft instead. And peanut butter craving squirrels will love your new scent, too. Sugar gives us energy, but it lowers your chances of having a little bundle of joy. Tit for tat. If you gulp down too much sugar, your body gets very confused. Sugar causes a flood of insulin to hit your blood. And chemically, insulin is quite similar to the hormones that help your egg cells mature. In response, your body suppresses the amount of those hormones, just in case. The formula is simple. Fewer eggs equals a lower chance of becoming a mother. You might believe your toilet seat is the most germ-laden surface of your house. But nah, it's not. It's your towels that are packed with the most bacteria. And if you use them to wipe your face, you might get some surprise, ew, effects. Acne being first amongst them. And wrinkles. Oh, and don't forget greasy, dirty skin, which is baddie number three in our trifecta of ew. While sitting relaxed at the dinner table might be very comfortable, it isn't necessarily the best thing for your health. We spend a lot of our time at work sitting, and we return home from work while sitting in a car or bus, only to find ourselves sitting yet again to have dinner. That's why most Japanese families have their meals while sitting on the floor. And you most likely won't find chairs in dining rooms there either, not even in five-star restaurants.